welcome back to Mama Moo Week. So we are with our first album, well, Mama Moo's first album, Melting, came out, came out in 2016. We've heard two songs, I think You're the Best and then Taller Than You. So let's go and skip into Words Don't Come Easy. So your girl got the lyrics today, okay? I got it now. Um, recording? Yeah, <laughs> I hate y'all. Let's go. So it doesn't tell me who's singing, it just has the lyrics. So, I may be able to, to catch on who's who. Here they go, here they go, here they go. Cause the mama move fits this theme so well. They do, they do. Why B2B and Mama Moo were friends. Now I see it. Now I see it. Now I see the nastiness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody said the trembles from my fingertips. Like, what are you talking about? Then it says grabbing your body. What you grabbing? You're not grabbing my body. It says you're sweet. You make my throat go dry. I knew there was a grown group from from Queendom Week. I I, I found that out. I, I I feel like I locked that in right then and there. They are a grown group, right? <laughs> I've already melted in your hands. Uh, I mean, your whispers, words don't come easy. Again, the trembles from my fingertips. Why are you trembling, boo? You ain't gotta be trembling like that. It ain't that serious. I don't know. I just, you know what? Because from what I'm understanding, words don't come easy. Like, action speak better than words. That's what I'm getting. I could be wrong. But, um, yeah. Is that Queen? See, who was that? <laughs> who was that? See, private party. Like, I don't know. Like, Y'all tell me. And thankfully, this wasn't like the first song on the album. Taller Than You was the first song. But imagine if this was the first song. <laughs> like, wow. We're, we're, we're going there. So, so early. Okay. But I think you guys told me that, um, like in the beginning, Mama Moo did quite a few collabs and stuff, so maybe that's what it is. But he only got two lines, and he, you know. <laughs> See, now I need her and, um, <laughs> I need, first of all, I just need a Mama Moo and Dreamcatcher collab, period. Like, I just need that to happen. Because the vocals and rap line, I'm just like, I'm just like, like, I'm just like, is that too much to ask? Like, come on now. Oh, 
So I don't know, <laughs> like I obviously don't know the Korean part, but it does have the color coded. So Hwasa did start. We end, ended it from the looks of it. It's called Friday night. Let's see what y'all talk about now. It's like they have a collab, but don't they don't say who it is. <laughs> Or what it says it, genius. That's the name, right? They got it. Jung Jigo. Did I say his name? Right? Hold on. First of all, don't call me that. Don't. Know but this ain't even English. What language is this? This ain't even Korean. I don't know what language this is, boo. You are gonna have to go back and get the English lyrics though. <laughs> English lyrics, please. <laughs> but, um, did I say his name right? Whoever he is trying to sweet talk me, and it's just not gonna happen. I'm taken. Okay, let's go back. Let's start over. Let's, let's hope these are accurate. <laughs> you know, because I don't actually, I, I be misunderstanding sometimes. Like, is it just me or. First of all, first of all, I don't drink coffee, so what's next? <laughs> Oh, it's this line that says, The moment I saw you, my trauma disappeared. Not the trauma disappearing. It says, hey, I better wipe the drool from the corner of my mouth. I like the harmonization though between the the guy and the the members. Let's 
And just like constantly, I seen something by counting down. I don't think. Uh, thank you. <laughs> no, we gotta start over. <laughs> I don't mean to keep going back, but my phone's not working. Yes. Here we go. I think what they did was they kind of said something about the member before, like like basically introducing them before their verse because I'm pretty sure Hwasa started, right? Because she said, hey, Huyen, what are you doing? And then I think, pretty sure Huyen came next. And then Huyen said something about Moonstar. <laughs> the Moonstar started, right? But where's the solar, like... Like, where was her, like, I guess, intro? I'm trying to look, y'all. But I feel like that's what happened. With my shy short haircut and chubby cheeks. <laughs> They're reminiscing about their their hometown. They're missing the memories of their hometown. Not me keeping up, y'all. I'm keeping up. Okay, it's a lot. <laughs> While also trying to focus on the vocals, but I know they have vocals, so it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I know this. But I feel like so far the theme of it is very, which I think even from the EPs, the first EPs is very like 60s, is it 60s kind of. Either way, they fit the genre very well. Emotion.
Her deep voice never fails. <laughs> Stop giving me English uh, lyrics on that, so. It's giving me BTB vibes too. <laughs> they always missing somebody. What did you do? What did you do, ma'am? What you do? You missing him? What happened? Like I wanna take your side, but then again it had to be fair. You know I mean what you do? What you do? What happened? <laughs> That's solar. That was so extra. That's like solar. <laughs> that had to be so weird. <laughs> Could have been a though. <laughs> they was showing up for no reason with the vocals. <laughs> I'm so sick of them. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You're better than yourself. You're better than yourself. Calm down. There she go. Come on. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Keep going. Keep going. Let's go. Solar and the leader from B2B. <laughs> Yo. They were battling each other. Like. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I wish if I had her voice. Understand. If I had her voice. If I had her voice, I'd do the same thing. But even better. Well, extra, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be like, I would be shameless with it. <laughs> I feel like she kind of is shameless with it, but I would be really shameless with it because y'all gonna hear these vocals. <laughs> Girl, I never forgot we. <laughs> okay, what is this funky boy? Because y'all not gonna tell me if y'all have her voice, y'all wouldn't do the same thing. Like, it's, it's about, it's about the, y'all gonna hear these vocals. Yeah. Period. I think that's why it says, don't mess with me whenever you feel like it. <laughs> I'm too much. All women are like that. Stop calculating my value. Understand I'm sick of things being like this every time. Listen. Cut him loose right now. Don't be mistaken that you have all of me. This is only the beginning. <laughs> She let the growl too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Let's just, let's just calm down. Let's calm down. Solo be so extra on her vocals. I don't be knowing. Ooh. 
Girl, I thought they were saying mama the whole time. I mean, they really up here doing a recipe. They're saying, they're talking about eggs and tuna, ham, eggs, tuna rice. Where they have hope? That's, that's the recipe. <laughs> Yeah, they saying fry it. Take the, the, the right kimchi. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> it reminds me of um taller than you. Cause I didn't know they was talking about each other height. Y'all said they was talking about each other height. They was dissing each other. They all short. <laughs> I thought that was silly, like knowing the meaning, it's hilarious. <laughs> Not them all being short, picking on each other for being like a one inch. Not even an inch, I think it was a centimeter. Child. That's, it kind of reminds me that because like, this is just ingredients. <laughs> Am I missing something? Come on, I'm missing something. Y'all, I'm seeing straight ingredients. This is hilarious. But Huyen did start though. I see that part. Solar ends. See, it's cool because it says like, this part is color coded, but it's not in English. So I still have to go to the bottom. <laughs> I don't know what that is about, but y'all let me know. <laughs> because it was just it was a recipe to me. Oh, this is cat fight. So why did the other one come up? Cat fight. Cat fight, mom. I'm trying to read your lyrics. Let's go. First of all, I love that Mamamoo plays with the 50s and 60s sound. 100%. It's not only clever, but it fits her voice so well that it's just like, yes. Period. Yeah. Seducing him with my catwalk. <laughs> I'm, you have chosen the worst enemy. I'm not that naive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. Oh, yes. Oh, no, hold on. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Y'all not fighting over a man. We're not doing that. <laughs> not y'all fighting over a man. I love how Moonstar, she gonna introduce herself before she come up here. Mm -hmm. No, we're not doing this. We're not fighting over a man. <laughs> that, those lyrics are so clever. 
Those looks actually clever. I like those layers a lot. <laughs> I want them to They should have a music video to this Cause this is a fun song You know what I mean But I want them to also play the guys They do that too well They're too entertaining They need to play the guys And the girls in every music video <laughs> Let me see that in this video. There isn't one in a mad. <laughs> because why not? Is that alive though? I'm watching on my own time though. I'm mad. They need to visit that. Okay, it's called just. Oh. Mama Lou, what's with this beat? They are gonna miss somebody. I see why, B to B, mom. I see why y'all friends. <laughs> I see why y'all friends. Y'all always miss somebody. You talk about the nasty. <laughs> and y'all be extra with the vocals. Like, I know why y'all friends. <laughs> I wanted to Moonstar sing in any of this song, you know, I didn't mean any of this album. I'm pretty sure she doesn't like the album, but. They use so many classical instruments that it just, again, it goes so well with their voice. What? <laughs> What's this? Hold on. You're like.
I get it, I think. They wouldn't be like the it girl without being like the cute. Like, they wouldn't be the it girl and like have all eyes on them, or they want to be their girl crush. They like, I guess it's like more like they love themselves. It's one of those. <laughs> but I knew it was. I knew they wouldn't go that far. I knew you wouldn't go that far. like one of them we had um looked into but yes all right y'all <laughs> like i've said i really enjoy that they play with the classical instruments because again it goes so well with their voice i think their company knew kind of where to go like i i know it's like it's like drama between them right? da, 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 da. but i'm just saying <laughs> like if you just like thinking of a perspective of like i guess a ceo i don't know what they want to call it but the management whatever like if you have a group of girls with those those type of vocals then you definitely i would you know definitely want to put them in the era or at least because of their vo the vocals are so strong and powerful um it just fits the classical like 50 60 so well that i mean you have to at least acknowledge that they would dominate in that type of era you know what i mean without having to actually go back there every time um and i think that's just i think that's what makes them at least for me right now, like from the, even from the groups of third gen, I feel like that makes them stand out because of those type of vocals. Like, I'm, there's many vocalists, I'm pretty sure, in third gen. I don't know that many girl groups like in third gen, but you know, I'm pretty sure I can, I can, you know, I can kind of call out a few that can go there. But I think a lot of people look to Mama Moo when it comes to those type of vocals because they're so strong and so powerful. Um, it's just like that type of group, you know what I mean? And it's only four of them. So <laughs> so to ha to be able to come together with just four members and have that type of impact, I think is very just impressive. I think that's, you know what I mean? That's so impressive with their vocals. Um, and them being third gen, I don't really know that many from first and second gen, you know, definitely not first gen, you know, like a hand 
handful of second gen but when it comes to third gen I, I think Mamamoo really made a name for themselves with their vocals alone you know what I mean so that's just really impressive to me so I'm excited to get more into the music let me know your guys favorite song um let me know the meaning I'm pretty sure I got some of it wrong but you know y'all let me know <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video